Becoming an officer comes with added responsibilities. In order to have time to focus on those responsibilities, you will need to be able to successfully delegate. Delegation can seem like more work than just completing the task yourself. However, it is worth it for everyone in the long run. Remember, to be a successful officer or chair, you have to shift from doing to directing. Some ways to delegating effectively are be a strong leader, communicate a plan, provide guidance and support, review final work, and make suggestions for improvement. When done correctly, delegation provided challenges and opportunities to members and provided you with additional free time. Some benefits to delegating are, members get a chance to learn and grow, you are able to share your talent and expertise, more time available to focus on challenges given to you by your chapter consultant, the chapter, or university. The chapter gains more developed and refined skill sets in its members. If you find yourself relying on the same people, look for opportunities to train the rest of the members. Be wary of dumping. Dumping is turning the task over but micromanaging it. To avoid dumping, determine key benchmarks in the task and ask members to check in at those points. Some steps to delegate effectively are Analyze your tasks slash projects. Stay current on member skills and interests. Identifying a match between members' skills and interests with the tasks. Assign a member to the task. Hold a meeting with a member to discuss the task, your expectations, and a deadline. Instead of over-directing a task, let them use their creativity in completing the task. Arrange for those resources and information that is necessary to complete the task to be available. Check progress on a regular basis and answer any questions. Review their work once the task has been completed. Praise and give credit when credit is due. For more help on learning how to delegate, request the Leadership in Action modules at phisigmapi.org slash LIA.